Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight? What is your boy Money back with another one, fam? And this one here is on two big dogs in this fight game. We have Javante Tank Davis, that killer, that gorilla from Baltimore, the undefeated three-division world champion who look at himself as the face of boxing now after stopping King Ryan Garcia, who is one of the hottest young stars in the game. Ryan is one of the top contenders, you know, and he's doing his thing. Right now, Ryan is still one of the hottest, you know, young stars in the game right now today, even after losing to Tank. Now, Ryan Garcia is getting a lot of slack, y'all. Ryan Garcia is getting a lot of slack where a lot of people is, you know, they're trying to shit on him. They're trying to say that Ryan is not, you know, built for this boxing game. People saying that he quit it, you know, after taking the body shot from Javante Tank Davis, things of that nature. Ryan Garcia said he wanted to get up, but his mind just wouldn't let him. And, you know, it was a beautiful shot by Javante Tank Davis. Ryan, what I want you to do, Ryan, and I know you probably did this. You probably went and got x-rays from the hospital already. Show the x-rays and let people know that that was a serious shot, bro. That that was a serious shot and that if they can't take it, then they need to shut the hell up. Point blank, period. You feel me? Ryan Garcia took a shot from Tank. That I know a lot of y'all that's talking, that, that's running y'all mouth and talking ish, y'all can't take it, bro. Y'all cannot take it. If Ryan Garcia show y'all where that punch was placed at on the ribs, right, they can knock the air out your ass, right, they can make your nose start bleeding, can paralyze you, then a lot of y'all will be quiet, bro. This killer right here ain't no joke, man. Javante Tank Davis, one of the hardest hitting motherfuckers in the game. In the game. You feel me? And the boy landed a beautiful liver shot right on the ribs of Ryan Garcia, and Ryan couldn't take it no more. In one sense, we want to get Tank all the credit in the world, and then in the other, they want to take it away from him. Javante Tank Davis stopped Ryan Garcia in the seventh round. He stopped him. Beautiful body shot. Beautiful punch placement. That's it. That's all to it. Get Tank to just do that he deserve. One of the hardest hitting motherfuckers in the business. What he going upstairs or what he going downstairs? Tank is very calculated. He don't waste shots. And when he strike, he strike with authority. You understand? And Ryan Garcia felt the wrath. He felt the wrath of Javante Tank Davis. And he knew it was a life or death situation. Yeah, it was a life and death situation. I say this all the time, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world. It's one thing to get knocked out. It's another thing to get knocked out while you ain't breathing. You feel me? Ryan Garcia was fucked up with that body shot. So he can barely breathe. So just imagine he got up. Javante Tank Davis went and landed another big body shot. And then caught him upstairs and knocked his ass out while he couldn't breathe. That's when you can't get oxygen to the brain. That's when you come in with the oxygen tank. That's when you're getting rushed to the hospital. And then people get to praying for this young man, praying that Ryan pulled through and things of that nature. You understand? You know, that's the brutal part of boxing. You feel me? That's when we start losing lives and things like that. And then y'all get the crying. Oh, man, it wasn't worth it, man. You know what, man? I wish Ryan didn't do this, man. You know, like, yeah. Nah, Ryan made a smart decision. Choose your life. Or maybe choose death. Because Tank is not playing with you. He's not. He want to make a statement. And if you get your ass back up, he's coming to murder, murder, kill, kill. Not saying he really want to do it intentionally. But you never know which punch or which blow would be the last blow. You feel me? So, no, nah, I'm giving Ryan Garcia all the credit in the world. He went in there, went seven rounds, one of the baddest motherfuckers in the game. One of the hardest punching motherfuckers in the game. Got dropped in the second, got back up, fought his ass off, landed some good shots, had some success. You know, got a little wild and reckless, got caught with a body shot that finished him. Period. Kudos to Javante Tank Davis, gets all the credit in the world. But a lot of cats is criticizing Ryan, shitting on Ryan, making it as if this man, you know, is not built for the, for the boxing game, which I disagree. I disagree wholeheartedly. Because there's some fighters that didn't make it past one round, two rounds, three rounds with Javante Tank Davis. Let's just be real. You know what I'm saying? So, Ryan Garcia is a real fighter. Ryan Garcia got in there and fought his ass off. He gave us a hell of a show, a hell of a showing of himself. He just came up short. You know what I'm saying? 
He came up short against the better, the better man that night. You know? So Good Tank is just doing the credit that he deserved, fam. Like I say, a lot of y'all won't be able to take half of the pain that Ryan Garcia was taking that night, April 22nd. Won't be able to take half of the pain. But everybody got an opinion. Everybody want to hate and criticize and things like that, bro. Nah, man. Boxing ain't no, no basketball or football where you can play this shit. This is real life that we're dealing with. <laughs> you understand? Real life. Your next move better be your best move. You feel me? Or your ass to be laying on that stretcher or in the hospital on the breathing machine. You know? With your family praying over you because that's all going to be there at the end. Just your family. Not fans, not promoters, not trainers. Well, some trainers. I won't take that away from the trainers. You know? But really, you will just be your, your immediate family. Mom, pops, girl, kids, brothers, sisters. You know what I'm saying? That's what really counts at the end. And I'm not mad at Ryan Garcia for doing what he had to do, bro. I'm not mad at him at all. I know how brutal this game is. I know how much punishment that these fighters be taking. You know? And a lot of people going to say, well, Money Brown, that's what he signed up for. He want to be a fighter. You know, he got to do this. He got to do that. Credit to a certain extent. Yes, to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? Even when you're in the Army, right? If you get taken as a prisoner of war, um, you put your gun down. You know what I mean? You put your gun down. Or get your shit blew off. Let's just be real. You feel me? So Javante Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia, they winning that man, gave us a hell of a fight. They made history 1.4, one of the, the, the highest gates. Brought all the stars out that night. And everybody enjoyed the fight. Everybody enjoyed the fight. And it just showed that Javante Tank Davis is a bad mofo. He's a bad boy. He's a bad boy that deserves all his just due. All his respect in the world. You feel me? All his just doing all his respect in the world. And I'm here to give it to him. At the same time, give it Ryan Garcia his just doing the respect that he deserves as well. Because like I say, Ryan, I know you went and got an x-ray, bro. Show that x-ray. Show it. Let people know. That look, man. That shot wasn't no joke. That shit hurt it. Really hurt it. And y'all won't be able to take it. You know what I'm saying? Let Ryan hit one of y'all ass in the ribs in the side. Let's see if y'all can take it. Let alone Javante Tank Davis. Boy hitting like a heavyweight. You understand? Boy came in 144 pounds, if I'm not mistaken. And the boy was hitting like a heavyweight. Tank got a different type of power, bro. A different type of power. And he got that Baltimore meanness to him. You feel me? That Baltimore meanness to where he don't want to just hurt you. He want to destroy you. You feel me? He want to destroy you. And then he'll go back to the cool calm tank once the once the fight is over with. But while the fight is still going on, bro, tank want to destroy you, bro. And these fighters know not to play with that dude once you get in the ring with him. Brian Garcia knew to stay his ass down on the ground. He knew tank wasn't no joke. He knew it. He knew he would have been singing a lot about right now. And he probably still be trying to wake up if he would have got his ass up off that canvas. And I'm just being real about the situation, bro. You know what I mean? A lot of cats will feed y'all a lot of bullshit and a lot of jokes and a lot of this, a lot of that. I'm just being real about the situation. Ryan Garcia made a smart move. People say, no, he made a business decision. No, he made a life decision. At the end of the day, the boy got kids and a family that he want to go home to. And I ain't mad at him for going home. I ain't mad at him at all for going home. You feel me? Because Tank would have put his ass in the hospital. And that's just real talk. You feel me? So good luck to Tank, man. We're going to see what Tank next move is in this next fight. A lot of people getting mad, and they already, you know, just assuming things. They don't know what his next move going to be, but we will see. Shouts out to Ryan, man. Ryan say going to 140 now. Good luck to you at 140, Ryan. I believe you can be a, a, a world champion at 140. I believe you have the skills, the speed, and the power to go up there and make some noise. So just stay on your grind, man, and keep shining. You know, take your licking and keep on ticking. Straight like that.